Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lina and you're watching the fourth episode of my Legacy Let's Play. In the last episode we celebrated Buddy's birthday, he's now a child. Ricky became BFFs with Skip, he got a part-time job at the supermarket and he stole something for the first time. And Otis practiced their hunting skill. After finishing that video, I realized that what I thought was a stinky pile of leaves was actually Otis's vomit because they ate that feather and they got nauseous. So if Otis eats trash again, then at least we know that they are probably going to throw up because of it. Oh, and I also decorated their house for fall, so it looks really cozy right now. But yeah, um, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Dwayne will be graduating soon. He has a few days to really impress his teachers before the final grades are in. What is his grade? B. It's pretty good, right? He had a school trip today. He is going to skip school. I like how the trees don't get bare in one day. They gradually lose their leaves. That's a nice touch. The sim fest is starting at performance park. Does she have to go to work? No, she's she has the day off. And she also, so maybe they can go together. There's not much uh, public here. What is this? Onions? <laughs> Onions in the grass. The fire has started. Oh, this is such a bad luck day. A few hours earlier. Don't take the car. Oh no. Oh no, Clint. Yeah, you're a little bit too late. Oh! There is a lot of danger in falsely calling emergency services. You have been fined 500 simoleons. Uh, oh, okay, the field trip that I did not want him to go on, it just, it's here now. Even though I made him work twice, so he's still going. That's good to know that there's really nothing you can do about it. He's feeling miserable because of the burglar, bad night's sleep, tastes like fridge and cold shower. One of Susie Lou's traits is star quality, so I think that she's very interested in all of these performance or all of these performance performers. <laughs> is it done? Oh, it is done. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause for that performance by Brother the Voice. <laughs> She is going to maybe flirt a little bit with Christopher, since she's so impressed with his performance. Oh, wait, she saw an awful show. That show was really terrible. Maybe the performer was having a rough day. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Please welcome our next contestant, Gravel the Great Ballad. Good luck. Don't Oh, she's loving it. Oh, Clint gave a presentation. It was excellent. And he got paid, but I didn't see how much. <laughs> but we have some more money now. I think he's going to go home, get his needs up a bit, and then fish for a little bit. Or he can just take the day off and go for a walk with Otis. Good job. Did they like it? <gasps> She liked it. Okay, I think she wants to talk to him. I think she's very impressed. Oh, Ricky got a souvenir from his field trip. Ooh, they got this dressing room mirror. Susie Lou would love that. And I want her, Susie Lou, to talk to the performer. Give him a flirtatious greet. Her husband is away. I don't have a clear story for where her husband is. 
all I know is that he got into trouble. So maybe he has to hide somewhere or maybe he got caught by the police. Either way, she has been alone for quite some time. Tell him that you loved his performance. They have gone to the junkyard. The reason why I took him here is actually because I want them to work on that fixer upper car from Roaring Heights. That's the only reason that they're here right now, is that I'm going to pretend that Clint found it. Maybe they brought it to their home. Oh, they have compatible signs. Let's see if she thinks he is attractive. He is single. Oh, she does not find him attractive at all. Rank 1 of 10. I mean, they can still become friends. Oh, Otis is running back home. Oh, we should go too. And we should get that car. Just put it in the front yard. Yeah, I was thinking of getting this because he has handiness skill 6 and Ricky has handiness skill 4. So this would be a nice project to work on together. They're friends now. <gasps> she says she's not attracted to him, but she wants to kiss him. Oh, she's found something. What did she find? A fragment of a stone hydrant. So there's another collection that we can complete. It's getting misty. Oh, Otis found her first gem. A bloodstone. It sounds like something Buddy. I would find really interesting. Since it's it sounds kind of occult-like. So I think we're going to give it to him. Dark blue. Uh-huh. What a way to pay him back for his gift. <laughs> oh, he has to give the mirror to Lucy Lou. Let's put it on the wall. Oh, there's a painting here that I completely missed. Lucy Lou, your friend is here. Oh, mm. <gasps> there! <laughs> My reaction. They are going to risky woo in the leaves. Okay, everyone, go inside. No, Peggy me. Don't look. <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Let's see if she's pregnant. Okay, she's not pregnant, but she technically, I still haven't given her a husband, but technically she cheated on her husband. I want to give him a makeover and I want to see what his traits are. Okay, he is a genius, good sense of humor, great kisser, green thumb, and never he's a never nude. Well, you wouldn't say that. Okay, he is a singer. What kind of music? Country music. I'm going to turn him into a cowboy. He needs something that will make him stand out as an artist. Ooh, this is perfect. Is she still not attracted to him? No. <laughs> then why did you go into the leaf pile with him? Okay, so Susie Lou does want to go on a date with Chadrick and fall in love with him. I feel like she's just lonely because there's no chemistry. Oh, uh oh. Sul Sul flew the coop. Next time you may want to keep your bird safely secured indoors. Aww. So they flew away. Okay, but what I was saying is that Susie Lou, she wants to fall in love. I feel like she's just... Oh. Okay, um... Technically she is married, but also not. I feel like she's just lonely because there's no chemistry with this guy. Oh! 
Okay, let me explain what happened there. A stray dog came to the house and started playing with Otis. <clears throat> and I thought it was so cute that I wanted to adopt the stray dog. But I didn't just want to add the dog to my household uh, without a story connected to it. So I kind of decided to create a scene wherein Dolly hears uh, a lot of barking, goes to check it out and sees the dog and she thinks it's really cute. So... I'm going to name her Misty. So I'm going with that story that she found Misty and decided to adopt her. And I also decided to turn Otis into a male dog, as I actually intended to do. <laughs> um, so that they can maybe get puppies. Let's try and have them become friends. Because they're not yet. And I want Dolly to go buy some pumpkins because tomorrow it's spooky day and I want them to carve some pumpkins. Uh, maybe one for each. Another cute tray. We can't adopt all of them, unfortunately, even though I want to. <laughs> maybe get another pet ball. A yellow one. And let's place it here. Next to the dark house. A dolly is going to carve a silly jacko lantern. And she is going to do a cat one. Oh, she's done. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she's done too. Let's maybe put them along the path towards the house. Wait, where is this fishing spot? It's all the way over here. Or, no, I chose this one. <laughs> He's standing here. Oh, the trees are getting really bare. Oh, it stopped raining. Is this Susu? Oh. I really want to pretend that this is Susu. Then I think I should put her somewhere inside, but I don't think we have room. Let me think about that. Susi Lu is making more places to boohoo in. Oh, Otis has gained a playful trait. You will now want to have fun as often as possible and may have a lot more fun things. A lot. <laughs> A lot more fun doing so. Go get Susu. He's like, I can't believe it. It really is you. Will Susu let him pick him up? <gasps> Yay! He has to go to work, but he'll just take Susu with him, I think. And yet again, Clint is fishing where he should not be fishing. <laughs> They want to go carve pumpkins as well. So let's send them home. Oh, he is going to do an evil one. <laughs> I think I'm going to put Susu in the parents' bedroom. Let's put everything in here for now. Wait. Oh, <laughs> Ari Moore's The Fruits of Victory by Go Team Go. No, did Ricky steal Ari's trophies? No way. <laughs> what the hell? Why am I not noticing him stealing stuff? Or we could buy a birdcage. That's also a possibility. I think I prefer that. Maybe just a white one. She is going to do a silly one as well. The pumpkin is like the same size as him. Oh, he's done. 
looks so good. Let's pretend that the car does not actually drive over these pumpkins as it backs up. They are friends. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no. She messed hers up. We'll still put it down. It still looks creepy like that. <laughs> I want Ricky and Dwayne to hang out with their friends. Because tomorrow is a holiday, so they can stay up late. Ooh, maybe there's... Um, I don't know if this is also in other countries, but for some kid birthdays, they would go to the pool and it would be like disco swimming. So there would be music and lights. I want to have them go disco swimming. So I'll change the pool real quick. Okay, I just added some stuff. Um, I didn't want to change it too much. Um, but I removed one of the bathrooms so that I could place this uh, bubble bar here. I also placed a regular bar and a lot of lights and music um, speakers. And that's it. Wait, what? Don't fret, your children will be in good hands with me. I'll get to your house as soon as I can. What? Someone called a nanny? They're old enough to be home alone. Justin is here. Is he a nanny? Okay, let's have uh, him sell his fish. And then he can come home. Can I send him away? Bye. <laughs> beat up Laurel. Can children even beat up other sims? But he's truly evil. Okay, he's going to carve his pumpkin now and he's going to do a traditional one. <gasps> no! That's Susie Lou's pumpkin! Oh, he's going to get scolded. Oh no, I really don't like that. Oh. <gasps> he can't on fire. <laughs> Honestly, that's the best punishment. What are you going to do now, buddy? She can dispose of it. No, buddy should do that. And then he should he should go to the supermarket and get Susie Lou a new pumpkin. Get you wasabash. Getting in trouble is no big deal as long as it was worth it. Well, was it worth it? And I'm going to give Susie Lou a new work outfit real quick. I think she's a clothes folder. She doesn't really need anything fancy, just like Dolly. She just needs something simple. She looks so good. I think she is so cute. She wants to bathe. Bathe. <laughs> ba ba I struggle with the TH. A lot of the time he wants to become a master thief well you're on your way to becoming that play with the bird we should get susu in his cage <laughs> give your mom a new pumpkin <laughs> she can make a new cat then. and we can put clint here as well i'm going to keep Close watch on Buddy. Ooh, we can already wear a costume for Spooky Day, I think. <laughs> can she also wear a costume? <laughs> Two different aliens. He wants to see Clint's ghost. <gasps> That's something else. <laughs> I'm going to lock it in just... Hey, let's go swim. Oh, there's Skip. I want to give him a makeover. What are his traits? Daredevil, light sleeper, excitable and neat. Just like Ricky and Dwayne, his family doesn't have a lot of money. So I want to keep it simple. Wait, I want to see what Skip Rogue looks like in The Sims 2. Because I kind of forgot. I wanted to give him... Uh, earrings because he is a daredevil in The Sims 3, but he looks pretty, he doesn't look really rebellious in The Sims 2. I think I'm going to just leave it for now. When Susie arrives, she gets a makeover as well. 
They're all doing their homework. I don't like that. There's Susie. Your traits are dislikes children, excitable, loner, and slob. She has bangs, so maybe keep the bangs. She reminds me of Millie from Freaks and Geeks. I actually like that. I think she looks really cute. She's really pretty. <laughs> How can I make these teenagers stop doing their homework? Oh, swim with and then all of these people. They're all <laughs> in this corner of the pool. <laughs> I think they should go home soon. All of the teens have left and it's already half past 12. Yeah, I think it's unfortunate that there's only a few interactions that you can do in the pool. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. For next video, I have a more elaborate machinima plan. So I hope everything goes well and I hope that you liked me experimenting. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody!